We've entered Holy Week now, the holiest week of the year. And for many Catholics and indeed many Christians, uh, this week signifies a turn, a dramatic turn of events, particularly for those who, of us who are Roman Catholics. Jesus has made the turn from Jericho and now he's in the city of his destiny, in the city of Jerusalem. So that Sunday, uh, many crowds will greet him as he comes to the city riding on a donkey and they'll be giving shouts of hosannas uh, and Jesus is well aware that in a few days forward that those hosannas will turn into crucify him. Jesus has told his disciples that he will enter the city like he's doing right now and then in a few days he's going to be scourged and ultimately he will die on a tree and after three days he will rise again. So Palm Sunday marks the beginning of his fateful week in his city of destiny. And then that Sunday uh, night, he leaves the city and goes to be with his friends. I think it's important to note that Jesus had intimate friends in Mary and Martha in a city about a mile or two from Jerusalem, uh, the home of his friend Lazarus, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. They were a family and they were close friends of Jesus. So he retreated from Jerusalem after making his dramatic entry back to their home in Bethany, a mile or two away. So Jesus was making a dramatic entry, making a dramatic statement in the center of Jewish life. And then he returns back to his friends. So now the drama has begun. We're in Holy Week now, the place of Jesus' destiny. This whole week is filled with ups and downs. We see it on the next day when Jesus returns from Bethany and he sees a fig tree that has not produced any fruit. He's hungry and he's looking for something to eat, but he sees the fig tree and he curses the fig tree. He's in a way sending a message to the scribes and the Pharisees and he, he indicts them. He says, you love to walk around in long robes in, public, in the public square, but he says, I want you to produce fruit is what he's saying. And God is asking us to, to look at our lives to see, have, are we producing any fruit? And so Jesus leaves, um, Jerusalem again and returns back to his friend's home. And so Tuesday, when he returns back to Jerusalem, he goes to the temple again and he confronts the scribes and the uh, Pharisees, and, but they don't touch him. They're trying to get information on him. And he goes to the Mount of Olives to spend the night there, we're told. So now we've taken a look at Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem on Sunday. And on Monday, we see him returning to the city after being with his friends. And then we see him coming back again on Tuesday. Throughout the rest of the week, we'll be looking at Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Resurrection Day on Sunday, reflecting on what Jesus might be saying to us during this Holy Week. So as we reflect on uh, Jesus' triumphal entry uh, for Palm Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, let's just offer a brief prayer so that we might turn our thoughts toward this beginning of this Holy Week. Father, we praise and we thank you for what you're doing, what you did at Calvary, what you're doing in our lives right now. Lord, help us to not be fickle in following you. Help us to decide to follow you no matter what our circumstances, no matter what the crowd is saying. We ask you to strengthen us so we might fully enter into all that you have for us. We ask for these things, Father, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you.